Alan, do you feel the need? The need for speed? The need for speed, because I... I'm I'd be interested in playing a game that is not absolutely can terrible. We, just briefly. Can we queue Kenny Loggins or something? We more or less are going to queue Kenny Loggins. This soundtrack I don't think was by Kenny <laughs> Loggins, but it might as well be Kenny Loggins. Electronic Arts Canada. Canada. They wanted you to know. <laughs> yeah, listen, we're not that other Electronic Arts. We're not the one like the Redwood City. All right. Okay, 90s car fan voice, get get ready. We're gonna enter the danger zone here. Look at this Toyota Supra. I like how they were all doing donuts, but like there's no like tire. Well, now there is. It looked like it was just sped up before. <laughs> this is exciting stuff. We've got Lamborghinis, we've got a Ferrari Testarossa here, we've got uh, FD3 SRX7, and then this is. This is the stuff of 90s sports car dreams. Care of our friends. I mean, 94 was, a, and this game came out in 90. Well, it says 95, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh. Okay. Fishy, you wanted Kenny Loggins. I feel like Tommy Tallarico just woke up there. Uh, <laughs> is that what anyway. it sounds like when he gets out of bed in the morning? For you. <laughs> yeah. Tommy Tallarico, you can write in the comments whether or not uh, that's what it sounds like when you wake up in the morning. Anyway, um, what I was trying to say before that happened was... Uh, <laughs> or the guitar was a, stick. This was a... 94, 95, whenever it came out, was a good year. All these great cars were out from both... Well, I was going to say both Jap Japan and Europe, but also America had a few with the Viper and the Corvette ZR1s. Yeah. So. Which is, the Viper being notable, it's the most pretty truck that Dodge has yet made. I'm going to yeah. just throw that out there for Dodge Viper lovers. Um, huh. And in but this, this game... Yeah. I'll, I'll complete my thought, though. This game had an air of authenticity. You can see it's presented by Road & Track. It has yes, all it these does. real cars. And hypothetically, they modeled things to look like the real cars. Even the interiors, which are great 90s. Um, <laughs> great 90s. Uh, I don't know what, or I don't know how to describe it. Um, um, thick plastic era. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. What else you can really say about it? I mean, the material selection is very nice. Diablo, man, that's yeah. VT, um, the FD3 SRX7 not available. The Acura NSX also not available in this demo. Oh, yeah. the they classic, made a big point of of telling you what's not available. You actually have to scroll through them to know, get to things that are available. I know, you have to see them all. You, well, I mean, so it's, 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 I mean, you're like, oh. I, I mean, I can imagine this is, this. Let, let's, let's scroll back. So this is the experience that they want us to have, right? Is, is to start here and be like, oh man, I really would like to drive that Ferrari. Uh, Testa oh, Rosa, yeah, okay. Oh, I, oh, really, it would be awesome to race the Lamborghini Diablo, that's too bad. Oh man, the RX-7, oh shit, they don't have that either. NSX, oh, I can't have that one. Super Turbo, oh, that one's also not available. God, what can I drive, Porsche Carrera? No, I can't do that either. I can't even race with the Chevrolet uh, Corvette ZR1? Oh, just the oh, truck. Just the truck. Oh. Uh -huh. And then like, where can I race? Rusty Springs? It sounds like Radiator Springs from the Cars movie. <laughs> Rusty, Rusty Trombone Springs? Nope, can't do that one. Onum Valley? That sounds very much like... Um, is there something called almost in, Onum in Valley Grand Turismo? Turismo? What's it called? I'm, Autumn Ring? Autumn Raceway? Autumn something. something. I, Ring, I think. You're right. Yeah. Monterey? That would be nice and scenic. Nope, can't do that one. City? That's a bit more generic. Um, <laughs> the Historic coastal. Raceway of City. Yes, we can have the Historic Raceway of Coastal. So as you pointed out, this was done, this is co-branded with Road and Track, the uh, car magazine. And this is sort of, this is the first in installment in the Need for Speed series. And the, and the only one in which there was any sort of interest, I guess, in simulation or accurate physics. Um, after this, they would move toward arcade racing. Um, That's funny, because I, I sort of thought it was the opposite. Where I feel like this is like they perfected the arcade racing game, whereas like Gran oh, really? Turismo perfected well, sort of the oh, yeah, simulation yeah, yeah. race. No, no, no. I mean, yeah. this is an early simulation I'm still calling game. this very it's still, arcade. It, it's I, mean, I think that 
it's a balance. This one's more of a balance between arcade and simulation. And then later on, I think they'll Need for Speed series moves more toward arcade. And we have other I mean, series that. I guess the reason I distinguish is you can take pretty much all the turns at full throttle, yes, full you can. speed. It's not which. Which they didn't feels more arcade in accuracy. They, they, they didn't have actual accurate physics or modeling. Not, not that I think you would want it, especially when you're driving a Dodge a Viper. Viper. Do you want? Do you really want to have accurate physics while you're driving the Viper? No. Not even owners of the Viper want to have accurate physics. Um, so interestingly, also you can't. I don't think you can engage ABS or traction control at least in the demo, which is cool. I don't know. Um, should we do manual shifting? Should we should we be men? Auto is a little bit easier for for recording, but you know, I I, I oh, don't sure. like how auto you still have to shift still, in. I know. First. I, I first did it. I was sitting the there just revving it, hitting the red line in <laughs> neutral. It's like I, I said it's auto. You still have to put it in first, and then it auto shifts. We might yeah. as well just do manual. It'll be fun. Fine. I'm, sure. I, I'm not going to do very well. Let's make sure that we're an SVGA. Image quality. No, we want. We want high. High. Yeah. yeah, high. I I think the 3D engine of this game is yeah, really great, yeah. and it doesn't require too much in the way of specs. Um, yeah, not too much. So we've got. We I, have I I had played this demo a lot on our laptop with an AMD 5X86 uh, 133 megahertz, uh, which is basically a 486, and it still works. There you go. <laughs> it's a flying start. You're still burning out now. I'm park myself right in the. I right the test did, did about thirty thousand dollars worth of damage on that guy. Uh -uh. Okay. Yeah, so I in this game, did I shift I, it I don't think in, too soon? I think short shifting might be better. In this game, you you can get arrested, but I don't think it has any real impact on your life. Um, <laughs> you mean on your real life? Uh, no. I was only arrested in Need for Speed. Man. No, it's you just, can still vote. Like you, you can still vote. I mean, I guess the realistic aspect you were talking about is like if you try to like just floor it from a stop and turn, it will show you spin out, um, and it zooms out. <laughs> oh, kind of like that. Um, to show you that it's a real three D image. Not, That's what happens not just, to uh, most Dodge Vipers. So. Oh yeah. I just wanted to add an extra bit of realism to this. Yeah, yeah. Short shifting out of first might be a good idea. I think second gear is a good place to start. You know, but they want to show off it's a real 3D engine. It's not just uh, scaled sprites or something. Right. Like this isn't This isn't just uh, OutRun, although. It <laughs> feels a lot like OutRun, but... It does feel a lot like it. Honestly, the way the car's handled does feel quite a bit like... I mean, I'm playing with keyboard right now. You know, I don't have... I don't have a proper setup, but I mean, this is how most people yeah. honestly would have played it. Were, was it possible to drive in any other format? Like, you know, the whole dashboard taking up half of your view is uh, not ideal, you know, I feel. Based on the way the intro works, I would think that there are other views. Uh, maybe if I hit some of these buttons, maybe one of the function buttons would do it? What do you think? Hmm. Maybe I don't B. know. I just I oh, feel like oh, B. Oh Wait, no no not B. What did I hit? I hit something. Oh, this C. reminds me of like C. Interstate seventy six oh, right here. It's cruising USA. That's I, what I'm thinking. We're cruising USA. Cruising, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's amazing how similar not... the racing in the in the game is to your real racing, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually. So what you're saying is, I'm just as good in real life as I am in this. That's it's right. I'm not, I'm not like those E-League racers. I'm just as bad in real life as I am in the video game. Well, that was fun. Um, so it would have been really great if we could have played with some of these other cars. Oh, what did I do? Oh, what's this? I didn't realize there was an infomercial about the Dodge Viper. This looks like a Dodge Viper. This is... Wow, almost 1G. Uh, that's almost 1G on the skip pad. I mean, it's known for its mechanical grip, isn't it? I, I, 
I mean, it's just, it's it's incredible they have this before Fast and Furious. Like, it makes so much sense after, but, you know, they were ahead of, they were ahead of the curve here. I mean, the reason why Fast and Furious had a huge audience was because there was, you know, there were other cultural artifacts that built toward it, you know. It wasn't, it didn't come out of nowhere. There's the Need for Speed series. What's your favorite Need for Speed game? I like Porsche Unleashed. I played a lot. I know you're a Porsche Unleashed. Yeah, I am. I played a lot of that with my GeForce 2 MX. I really actually like this first game the best. Because, I don't know, it just became bland (laughs) after that. And then Gran Turismo came out, and I didn't really need... Yeah, I didn't really need the Need for Speed. 